I'm Frank Williams and I played the vicar in Dad's Army. How did that all come about? Well, I knew uh, Jimmy Perry when he was running the Repertory Theatre at Watford and I worked for him and I uh, did a couple of plays there. And then I became chairman of the Supporters Club, Patrons Club at the Palace Theatre Watford. Got to know Jimmy very well and so when he had the brilliant idea of writing this series about the Home Guard, he, uh, he decided I might be quite good as a vicar, so that's how it all happened, and I'm very, very grateful to him. Um, I did a number of episodes, but I suppose my favourite, I think my favourite is the Royal Train, because we had such a lot of fun doing the location filming for it, uh, going up and down the railway line with the pumping dolly truck and uh, being chased by a train and then chasing a train and so on. And so it was just enormous fun and that's, I think, why that was my favourite episode. And there were so many others as well. We're back yet. They're stopping anyway. Perhaps they use some other sort of lever. wonderful cast to work with, of course. I mean, all the actors that one had seen over the years in so many films. I mean, watch any film of the uh, 30s and 40s. John Laurie is sure to come up and play uh, play some Dua Scott in that. And Arnold Ridley, of course, who played all the uh, played a number of roles, but also prolific author. The author of probably one of the most successful plays for amateurs ever written, The Ghost Train. Um, and it's just so wonderful to meet all these people. Dear Edward Sinclair, pretty well near one of his earliest parts, but he was just as absolute joy as the verger, and such a nice man. He and I became really good friends. Bill Pertwee, that, uh, that mad uh, air raid warden, who was, um, uh, well, he, he, he was a lovely man, actually. He wasn't a bit like Hodges. He, uh, I mean, he always used to put himself down a bit and said, uh, oh, I, I don't really act, I just shout a lot and push people around and fall into the water, which he did, but also he was a, he was a wonderful actor. And then, of course, one comes to Clive Dunn. I hadn't worked with him before, but I had met him because I'd worked with his wife, Scylla, and what a wonderful character actor he was, much younger than the part he played, of course. And Arthur Lowe, well... Brilliant, brilliant performer, I think. I mean, such a wonderful sense of timing. And then I think my favourite the whole lot, the lovely, lovely John Le Measurer, who was, as I say, my favourite, in the probably one of my favourite people of all time. It was just such a wonderful cast to work with. No, watch out, Mr Hitler, you have met your match in us. If you think you can crush us, we're afraid you've missed the bus. Cause who do you 